FX Impact with 800 millimeter barrel tension kit. Stand by for info. All right, so I've had a couple of questions about my barrel tension system and others with backbone rails and Sabre tactical rails and even the factory rail with this front barrel holder piece that now comes on most all the new M3 impacts. So you can tell as I come up here, I've got a set screw right there. So I'm gonna cock this. Back in behind here, this front block, a machinist buddy drilled and tapped. So this, the front screw, it's drilled and tapped behind it. You can't access this set screw with that in place. All of this has got to be set up prior. But these faces on these barrel holders out of the factory are not square. See how it's been squared? The front of that screw, the front of that tension screw right there has even been machined flat. So what we did is this was all clamped in in a lathe and then this was set for the right distance based on being screwed in and in the back and everything ready. So then we spun this on a lathe and he machined this face square. He also machined the face of this piece of carbon square. But what this set screw does, when this piece of carbon comes on it slides up and around that edge, so everything is there. This set screw just puts enough tension right here on the back. After you torque these down to where they need to be, I think I'm at 25 inch pounds, maybe 20 inch pounds is where those are. But once you take your barrel nut screw and you insert it which is 18 millimeter you insert yeah we're here on my home range i got 50 yards off my back porch um so i'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this down uh, i'll just go about there but what that'll do if, if you don't have this set screw is this gap, because we're solid, we're solid metal on the back side. There's only a gap on this right side. That will make this barrel pull to the right. This barrel will pull to the right to you and it will cause your groups to change. There is a point of impact change. But with that set screw, and I'm giving away secrets here, but hey, that's what we're in this game for is to compete against apples to apples. I am anyways. But that set screw right there will keep you from pulling to the right. And with these faces machined flat and your carbon machined flat on both ends, it needs to be squared up for that barrel nut too. With that carbon being machined flat on both ends, everything's kosher everything's together it's not hard to do i'm not a machinist so i can't do it but people that are machinists it's simple it took him a total of about 15 minutes to do everything rifle back up and running um but that is what changed my impact in its consistency and how everything has continued to shoot is that right there. And then of course, machining this right here flat, because when you add all your tension and everything, if it's not, if you don't have squared surfaces on both ends, you're still gonna have an issue. Uh, but that, that helped a lot, but that right there is the vast majority of it. It'll keep everything from shifting off to one side or the other. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's it. Crayford and Lip Gen 4, 800 millimeter barrel tension system, Air Marksman, long backbone, 
Ergo grip, Air Marshman thumb shelf, 910 and Bullet Central trigger shoe. That thing is phenomenal. Crayford and Lip, first stage reg delete. I am running a 300 bar, 700 cc bottle. I do not fill it above 250 bar. If you're going to fill to 300 bar, you cannot delete your first stage reg. I deleted my first stage reg. Everything stayed more consistent through the gun um, as far as all that goes. Um, Crayford and Lip rear assembly, I like it way better than his first one. This one is phenomenal. Um, I am also running the Crayford and Lip pin probe holder. I am running a Huma machined pin probe. Uh, I do have a Huma extra large uh, transfer port on the back of my 800 millimeter system. Um, and I plan on giving the Huma extra large pellet probe a try with my slugs. I, I don't shoot nothing but slugs. That's all I shoot out of this gun. Uh, but I am gonna give the extra large pellet probe a try. I do run a digital gauge here and then uh, trigger cam 2.1. That thing is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, all I do is shoot uh, NRL 22 and PRS rimfire stuff. Uh, this is the Element Titan 5 to 25 front focal plane uh, dirty reticle mill mill and then i am the match director at uh, kentucky regulators gun club uh, we are regulators rimfire here in bose kentucky uh, so if you're in our area uh, come out give us a match uh, give us a match try bring your rimfire out bring your air rifle out have fun and uh, look forward to seeing you on the range but that is my kit right there and then uh, fat boy tripods uh, those things are phenomenal uh, companies owned out of Iowa it is hunters that develop this tripod their ball head is phenomenal uh, one hand adjustment knob and yeah you can see you can go wherever you want to go and then torque it back down and she's locked in it'll the uh, lock lever works on Picatinny or Arca rails. So it is very similar to an RRS, uh, really right stuff with an Anvil 30. Very similar to an Anvil 30 ball head assembly. Um, but the Fat Boy is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Fat Boy tripods. Give them a try. FX Impacts, uh, NRL 22. Hope that right there helps some people with some answers and ask me questions. I'll try to give you everything I can. Uh, I'm new to this YouTube, but the NRL and the shooting, what I do at matches, I'll, I'll try to help you any way that I possibly can. Y'all guys have a good one, and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe. Uh, help me out and enjoy some shooting footage.